According to one study, more than 50% of Indian children have faced some sort of uh, sexual abuse in their life and shockingly more than 80% of, uh, of the time it is by someone uh, from their family or friends. So here it goes. She was feeling like Medusa. Same story, different time. He'd seen and she was guilty, as if she was the one who had committed the crime. The R word was messing with her head. He's a nice guy, no one will believe you, her friend said. And asked to forget what he did. Only if that happens to them, God forbid. will understand her situation. How he has done a lasting devastation without a moment's hesitation. She just sat there staring into space. Infirm, immobile, a rare case. That day she was with someone familiar. Mask fell off when he started touching her. Bruising her body unwelcome, unwanted. Forcing himself on her. He did not stop. No, she cried. Multiple times. Nothing halted him from climbing the top. He asked her to wait. Said she will like it this time. As if her words were didn't worth a dime. Her conscience drifted away. Words ceased to leave her lips. Lying on the bed, hands tied behind her head. Did she just have a sex? No, she experienced a hell. This will remain a secret tale. She did the walk of shame home, disappointed, traumatized, like Martin Luther returned from Rome. So many questions in her head, no clear answers inside. Who do you turn to when you have been abused? Will she ever be able to trust or love? Her adolescent brain, confused, wondered who would want you when you have been used. Those flashbacks started haunting, ruining her once peaceful sleep. The pain getting harder, she kept trying not to weep. Failed attempts became a routine. He oozed out of her self-esteem. Yet she thinks no one will believe her, and of course he won't admit. But what if he come back and repeat it? Still haunt her.